As part of its strategies to fast track the attainment of the Millennium Development Goals, the Office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on MDGs has finalized plans to scale up investment on MDGs related projects at the state and local government levels. The Senior Special Assistant to the President on MDGs, Dr. Precious Kalambak Benuel, embarked on an advocacy and sensitization visit to the Federal Capital Territory to sensitize FCT communities on the need to take ownership of MDGs projects and on participation of community leaders towards the achievement of the MDGs in 2015. While in Bari Area Council, the Senior Special Assistant to the President on MDGs visited two traditional institutions. At the Sarkin Bari's Palace, Dr. Gwenwell stressed the need for girl-child education. The female children should go to school. Inshallah. So learn. Inshallah. They should be empowered. Inshallah. You understand? Inshallah. You should be able to have a say. Mm. You know, when those small small girls are married Allah. and they don't have a voice mm. and they go into labor Allah. and they have this complication that we call a uh, vaginal vesicle fistula. Yes. Wherein the urination mm. does not come out of the front again, mm. it comes out of the uh, vagina. Aside. aside. Yes. Is the same husband that will give us seke bi or seke uku? I'm not sure. 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 I'm not now we are also looking, you know there are countries where women are president. Mm. We have in African countries right now, mm. we have at least two. We have Malawi well. and we have well. that's the reason why you are not the president. Of, of Nigeria. <laughs> we are going to try. We are going to try. try. We are going to try. Yes. <laughs> Even right now, a lot more women are into politics. Mm. A lot more women are into in the cabinet. Mm. If you don't educate them from now, they can't be there. Inshallah. But if you educate your child, Inshallah. they can be there to know. They are the ones that will later have a voice and say, no, I think this should be like this. Mm. I think this should be like that. Mm. If a woman is empowered, that same woman will take her child to the hospital Inshallah. and receive with her care for She will do that. That same ch woman will send her child to school if she is empowered. So, that child will not die. We we want to reduce our maternal mortality to 200. That is, in every 100,000 women that give birth, presently they say that the people that die is about 545. But we want to reduce it to 200. The time is short. Even 100. Or even less than. Yes. Because it is. It is a God's giving rights that you should give birth. You should not die giving birth. You understand? So these are all the things that they agreed. They are bent to their signature. Now we want to come and meet you and say, okay, talk to the people. Sensitize the people. Those children, let them receive polio. Let them not say that polio will cause a problem. What do they say polio causes? Infertility. Infertility. No, I want you to have this authority. Invite all the people, the communities under your emirates. Let them come out. Let them put hands. Because only us working is not okay. But if they also join us, if I go and everybody comes out and works with us, all of us will be able to put our hands on the plow and say we are achieving MDGs. Not okay, you bring the things. They don't assess, they don't go to uh, they don't go to give birth in the hospital, they give birth in the house. Ah. You bring the hospital, they don't take their children to the I'm clinic to take immunization, they look at it and say, I beg. Mm -hmm. Even the people when they come to uh, do it and catch it. Who are they uh Canada Yaga Pa with a uh, that is what we yes, want. Yes. We want them to come out, okay. use these things. School, they should send those their children to those schools. The boroughs, they should use those boroughs. The VIP toilets, they should use them because that is the way our number of people that are using water will increase. Sanitation will increase. School rate will increase. It's not just one person doing it. The people supplying it will supply. The demand will also be clear. That way both of us will be able to meet 
<laughs> we are very impressed. Inshallah, by grace of God, we shall continue highlighting our people, Masaman, or especially our wives and our children, female and male, to take this type of idea that you brought to us. I thank you very, very much. May the mighty Allah bless you. Bless all what you are doing. Amen. Bless our Nigeria. At the Esubai's palace, the senior special assistant to the president on MDGs stated that MDGs is about the common man and about government showing concern for the people. MDGs is about the common man. The common man in the village. That is what MDGs is all about. How do we better the lot of the common man to bring him out of poverty? How do we ensure that the common man goes to school? How do we ensure that the common woman have a voice and can go to school and can speak like myself? How do we ensure that they are in the parliament? How do we ensure that they can sit as rulers, that they can sit as presidents? How do we ensure that when a woman gives birth, the children don't die? The rich men children don't just die like that because they go to the best hospitals. It's the common man that don't use the facilities of the hospital. It's the common man that decides to give birth in the house. It's the common man that does not see the importance of any of these six killer diseases. MDG is for the common man to ensure that he has water to drink from a good bowl, not the one on the river. Infected with guinea worms, not the one that causes river blindness. It's for the common man to ensure that he has a place to defecate, not in the farm. The rich don't defecate in the farms. They don't even go to the farm. They employ mechanized farming. It's for the common man. As you rule the common man, an MDG is for the common people. When they, they decided to reach out to the common people in the year 2000, Nigeria also said, ah, even me, I will put my hand. I have common people in my country. I want to reach out to them. And they set targets and they set indicators that this is what the MDGs is going to look like. <coughs> if you are able to meet this and this and this, we will say that you have been able to meet one of the MDGs. If every child goes to school in Buari, Buari would say that I have met the MDG in education. Goes to school and completes a course of that schooling. Not go to school and be brought out of the school to go and do uh, selling or to go and do Kalakawa or to go and do Almajiri or to go and uh, also for the family. If the child completes a course of education, and every child in Buari completes a course of education, and work is done, and you have the tool to help me sensitize them, encourage them, go to school. If every woman, every pregnant woman in Buari assesses the general hospital there, assesses our primary health care centers, then my work is done. If I don't have any child, dying uselessly in Buari, then my work is done. And you can help me. That is the purpose of all our sensitization. Because we're giving money, we're collaborating with FCT. We're collaborating, and our collaboration with FCT is been long. My office, the office of the Senior Special Assistant to the President on MDG was created by the then um, President, and he said, look, I'm going to put all my weight behind and make sure that I dedicate a particular office that will just 
be interested in looking after the common man. The Esu Bai expressed appreciation for the enlightenment received and pledged to convey the message to his people. After the court sea calls, the senior special assistant to the president and MDGs inspected some of the projects being carried out by the FCT MDGs office in Bari Area Council. She expressed her satisfaction with the quality of the project and urged the community to take full advantage of projects like the health facility, public toilets and schools. Stay tuned for highlights of the interactive session between the senior special assistant to the president and MDGs and the people in a town hall meeting. The visit to FCT by the Senior Special Assistant to the President on MDGs is part of our nationwide sensitization and advocacy visit to states. At a town hall interactive session organized around of the visit, the chairman of the Project Implementation Committee, Al Haji Ari Issa Mohammed, commented on the achievement of the FCT MDGs office so far, while the chairman of Bari Area Council, Pizza Johanna Ushafa, encouraged his people to help the MDGs office achieve its targets. It's for you to utilize it so that we'll be able to achieve our goal. I know I have not been told by her, but very soon she will attend the United Assembly and she will have to give account of what we have done with MDG programs. If we fail one, it's that people who have failed all things they have done. You know, my ten commandments, you observe now you will lose one. Are you going to help us? No. It's a clear example. So we need to put the 10 of them to work so that MDG will have a support card. And I will promise you, we will do our best to make sure that the 10s are Both of us are coming out every day to want to participate in our empowerment life. We need to ensure that at least no family in SCP pray more than 30 minutes to have access to help. And we want to ensure that each of our health service points provide opportunity and for attending the most four five sports in our hospital. Education will have been able to help people to achieve a three percent access. And we hope to get to that percent access. I want to thank Senator Mother Mohammed, the Honorable T O N, the Honorable Minister, the Federal Cabinet Territory. So like all its predecessors, supporting MDG, keeping us together, ensuring that our strategy works. This show commitment of leadership. And I am very proud always to say that my leaders are committed to achieving MDG. I also want to thank you for having this time, for taking your time. And I, I want to say proudly that the SSAP was once one of the drivers of our practice. Thank you for being here. I'm coming downstairs. Those little, little sicknesses that can kill them. Addressing the town hall gathering, the senior special assistant to the president on MDGs emphasized the need for people to attend antenatal, postnatal, and immunization clinics provided for them by government. The things have been put for you in place. You can do better. You can use them. Not only using them, you can maintain them. In one of the places I went, the tap was just running. The tap edge was free will. The water was just flowing. When I asked, that place that was in Kuche, when I asked, her, why is this tap not up? They said, it's evidence to show that the tap is there running. But that is not really evidence. I wanted it to be locked and then open when it ought to be opened. Maintenance 
and security council. The chairman talks about vandalization. We don't want our things to be vandalized. And lots of money. You can hear it. Federal government has given over four billion. FCT has put over three billion. So between the two of them, you got it more than seven billion. From 2007 to date, or from 2006, when the IOG one started, to date, and we are still doing more. So the quantum of money that has come into it should be used, maintained by new people. Our work will be done. When all of us look at all the things that are in place, and we use them. And I'm also happy. The traditional cash transfer is also working. People are being picked up from the streets to be given uh, training that will reduce the excessive crime that we are having. More to it. Very importantly, there are drugs presently for other illnesses, like malaria that can kill your children. There are mosquito nets, like the hospital. There are HIV drugs. Because if you use those drugs, my prevalence will fall. If my prevalence falls in SED, it will cumulate to my national prevalence falling further. I don't know if you are getting it. But if you stay in your house, they put hospital, county hospital. I'm waiting until the next hospital is by my doctor so that I'll just move from my house here and enter the hospital. It will not do well. Or you have a child, you begin to hide. I don't want my neighbor to know that I have HIV. Ah. Initially, it may not be written in the face, but later, it will be written on the body. Everybody will know that you have HIV. Then you say that somebody has done you medicine, and you be shiba the name. Is it HIV? But if you take your drugs, it's like any other chronic illness. So that is what part of the energy is all about. Then we talk about the water and sanitation. And because MTG in Nigeria is not a local thing, it's an international thing, it's a global thing. We need to interact with other countries and work minds to say that, yes, and this is our checks. In this area, we're doing well. We can feed our people. The people in that city are no longer poor. I can say that of FCT. I can say that of Edo State. I can say that of Edo State. I can say that of maybe for those days, maybe go to the state and any other state, then cumulatively, we can see that world is of Nigeria. A greater percentage of the population, they are women and children. And if you strike a woman, enlighten a woman, empower a woman, you are empowering the nation. I'm sure most of my goals will be accomplished with the women around here. And I want to speak to the men also. Sometimes it is difficult for the women to say, support your wives. Support your wives. Let them go to the hospital. Let me not come here. In five months time, and I hear that only 10 people are giving birth in that hospital. It's not, it's not enough that from June, July, August, September, Six deliveries. They said six. Six deliveries. You can do better than that. You can encourage your women to go there. And also, the things are so to die. If not completely free. So use the health center. Go there, tell them to come and give back there. Use the health center, let the children be denied. Every form of illness is led to it. It's a sensitization and advocacy visit and interaction. In your sort of challenges, finance, what is never enough is to make the best use of what is available on the ground. 
Because even if we fill this house with money, we will finish it and we will still be looking for more money. It's never going to be enough. That's why there is budgeting. But the much that has been accomplished, I'm glad to hear about all of it. I'm glad. And I'm excited. I'm encouraged that such good, wonderful work is going on in this community. My brothers, please, encourage your family to use the health care. As many as are not involved in this cooperative and you are a farmer, please be involved. That way you come out of poverty faster. And that helps my go one. If you come out of poverty, you will send your child to school. If you come out of poverty, your daughter will go to school. Your women will be empowered. My mortality rate will fall, both for your wife and for your children. HIV will be a teen of the past because you are, you are educated. You will not allow yourself to be infected. It is the educated person that will buy mosquito nets if he's not giving free at the health center and say, my wife, take this mosquito net. You are the king. Sleep on diet. But if you are not educated, that mosquito net that was given to you, you can use it as fish, fishing net. Or just tear it as a sponge. We have a lot of toilets. 400 and 50. I'm not saying it is enough. But at least, scattered in six area councils. 420 divided by 6. Let's say approximately 8080. 8080. We're going to have more. The federal government is still going to do more. I've just written a memo to the president to release more funds for the 2012 tranche. And he's going to do it because we have a task to meet in the MDGs. And that is the purpose for which I'm here to tell you that. Some members of the audience shared their experience on the impact of MDG's project in rural communities. I got to a community. They were as farmers. The team, some are loyal to the chief and some are not. So as an extension officer, I told them I'm here on behalf of MDGs on the community empowerment and agricultural initiative. And for you to succeed, we must work together. I told them I'm not from this area council. If you work with me, you achieve the goal. The way I'm saying it is this. Because of this still good work, the have left that community. We are now in unity and harmony. At least this is a path back for MPPs. Because if there is no peace, there will never be development. Why are we crying in this country? It's because there is no peace. We pray to Almighty God to give us peace in this nation so that we shall move forward. Thank you, God bless you. I wish you all the I'm surprised to see and hear and have people testify that such a uh, program is existing in the country. Please, Ma, I want to uh, I want to ask, I want to plead on behalf of women on sensitization that we actually need it, just like it has been said that if woman is empowered, your husband rests and your children benefit. A, a woman who is empowered, who has something to do, can also single-handedly pay child school fees. At the end of the advocacy and sensitization visit, the FCT MDGs office was given a generous pass mark by the senior special assistant to the president on MDGs. They've made remarkable progress. A lot more can still be done because it's a collective thing. It's, it cascades what they do in Buari or FCT, cascades to the national uh, prevalence in any area you want to take it, whether in health, in education, water, sanitation, whatever it is. And collectively, we're going to meet the MDGs. But one of the challenges he pointed out, it's the issue of um, vandalization. Most of their things are being vandalized. 
and uh, the waters are, are destroyed, the things are stolen. And so they, they, they think of fencing the hospital to wage off uh, intruders yeah. that may come and vandalize things within the premises of the hospitals. I think that's what they complained about. But on a general note, I must say that they've done pretty well. Thank you, ma'am. Yeah. Join us next week as we visit some beneficiaries of the Youth Empowerment Program to find out how FCTMDGs has impacted their lives.